高峰さん私たちにご相談とは何ですか Hey, I'm back. My name is Vitamin D Stone. And、uh, yeah, this isn't King Koi. That's okay though. I got a little bored of King Koi. Not that there's anything wrong with King Koi, but we've been running King Koi for quite a bit. And I think a little break hurts nobody. Let's get started. We left off where Nozomen and Kosei almost got hit by a car. Now Kosei is all freaked out, and we're here about to talk to Mikado and the God Reaper lady. Old lady. The next day. After the cafe had closed for the day, I called Akizuki san and Mikado aside. Yes, actually. You see, yesterday. I recount my date with those old men yesterday and how we narrowly avoided another car accident. I like to think that it was only a coincidence. But this situation seems way too familiar. Plus, this time, even t h o s e old men was put in harm's way. I worry to think that this has happened because my own circumstances haven't been resolved yet. I want to hear your opinions. What do you think? The two of them look at each other. Then they nod. What? <laughs> What? Why? Why haven't you said anything? What is wrong with you? What? You mean. Yeah, I mean, you're not a virgin anymore. Yeah, he's not. Ah, well, thank goodness. I guess it really was just a coincidence then. I breathed a sigh of relief. What other soul? Up until this point, I hadn't even considered it. Or rather, I'd intentionally been trying not to. There's only one other soul he could be talking about. Wait. The red butterfly of Akaiwa shrine. I bite my lip. Did he, hit, did he do one of these? This isn't the answer I was hoping to hear. What? You have? Since when? Oh. Wait, what? Isn't that terrible news? Oh, excuse me. I have eye buggers for some reason. Oh. There it is. Does this mean the red butterfly hasn't gone back to sleep? Yeah, yesterday was the first. Wait a minute! Sorry, once again. There it is. Alright. What are you going to pray for, Mazomin? Could it be possible that she noticed and didn't say anything to not freak him out? Zomen, look out! <laughs> oh. Are you okay? Nah, this is even worse. The butterfly had attempted to assassinate her that one day. Crazy. You. Bro, oh my gosh, please, someone take the mouse away from me. That butterfly got murdered on its mind, I guess. Huh? I didn't really do much. Crap. I totally forgot. Not long after New Year's, Zomi and I experienced another accident. 
It wasn't anything serious, though. I told him about the bell that had nearly fallen on top of us on New Year's Day. I thought for sure it was nothing more than an accident. I should have realized something was wrong, but I was too excited at the time. Pathetic. Some boyfriend I am. Well, you guys aren't really helping our nerves at all, are you? But you said you've been seeing red scales floating around here, right? Is that not proof enough? そこに存在はしているのだ。望みはお前に凛粉が付着する可能性はある。そう、ウィアンチョウルナ。他の蝶々は赤い輪神社に集まってきてませんからね。去年の年末と状況は明確に変化はしているんです。She's right. Alright, fine. You get the pass, you get the pass. Alright, if there's a third one, then... That's... That's... That's enough proof that... It's not just any accident. Sorry, I have to ask for your help again. Me too. Unfortunately, I'm utterly unqualified to deal with the spirits of the dead. All I can do is leave this to the professionals. <clears throat> it is water time. Drink your water. Right now. Stay strapped, Takamine. Oh. Well, that wouldn't be good. Of course. Excuse me. I'll do what I can keep her. What? I'll do what I can keep her safe. Okay. I'll do whatever I can to keep her safe. But I'm not sure how I can protect her from something I can't even see. He pulls out a strap. Mikuro hands me something. A strap. That's not a strap. This is... Another talisman? I thought you said you didn't have any more. How did you make this? These talismans required 8,888 of a cat seed as hair to create. I was told that he could only produce one per year, at most. Aw, Mikado, you're such a sweetheart. Look at you plucking your pubes for me. <laughs> wow, what a noble man you are. Mikado, thank you so much. Both my hands and my voice shake with gratitude. No need for the Tsundir act. I'm beginning to wonder how long is this route actually because I thought it'd be over by now but I'm sure that by now it's definitely not much more time I guess what I'm trying to say here is that I thought it was going to be a lot shorter alright that shouldn't be a problem we've been eating breakfast together every day lately and we also see each other at work and when I go to help out at the shrine that's crazy. Twenty-four hours a day? Then I'd pretty much be the one haunting the zomen. I'd guess you can't let those pews go to waste or rain. Wait, wait, wait. That's asking too much. For one thing, Nozomi would hate it. Well, it's only been five days since they started dating. I don't... Dated? Dating? I don't think she'd have any complaints. How can Akizuki-san can... Wait, what? How can Akizuki-san be so naive? There's no way a young woman of Zomi's age would agree to have me hanging around her 
Can I just explain the situation to Nozomi and give her the talisman instead? Dameda. Mikado bluntly shoots down my suggestion. So Dang, I didn't know butterflies could be so spicy. Daga, go for a hito to shikanai. So we've got no other choice. Seems like Nozoma and I are just going to have to stick together and share the talisman's protection. Still, how am I supposed to get Nozomi to agree to this? So go on, my gun, and to set to shiro. I still think we should just tell her what the heck is going on and be like, look, I know it is not very convenient, but we have to do it or one of us may just die by a murderous butterfly. Better work quick. Until them look at me gravely. Alright. Hopefully you can uncover something. We'll just have to explain everything that Nozomen Nozome and I hope she understands. Uh, but that means I'll also have to explain this to her parents as well. That's going to be an even bigger problem. Oh, it sure is. Wait, really? What is it? Okay, and then? Nozomi-san's I could bring a couple of cakes from the cafe. About to say something so stupid. Please let me marry Nozomi san. Hmm? After eating the dinner that Nozomi cooked for me, I got down on my knees and asked her to marry me. She quips in Kansai that I elect in response. I thought so. I saw her raising my head. Sorry, Akizaki-san. I don't think this plan of yours is going to work. I know, but this talisman won't protect the people who are near it. Unless we live together, there's no realistic way we can be together all the time. Even if we are dating. Oh, yeah, even if only for a week, I'd be living with their one and only daughter. It wouldn't make sense unless I was planning to marry her. Akizuki-san says they can't risk any more people knowing about this. If only we could come up with some other excuse to live together for a week. Well, this is interesting. Two of us rack our brains, but we still can't think of a solution. Oh, I know. Let's try asking Shiksan for advice. She's the one other person who knows about our current situation. Plus, she's wicked smart. She might be able to come up with some brilliant idea. What if they just sleep at the cafe for one week? I quickly pull out my phone. What is it? Uh, I guess you're not wrong. Well, alright. But let me just say this. Your problems are my problems, Nozomi. And I mean all of them. What's the matter? Aren't you going to message her? <laughs> Zomi turns beet red as she taps away at her phone. She looks so cute that I'm already falling in love with her again. What's she say? Uh, did, didn't Bird just say she's smart? Please tell me she's kidding. Is she crazy? I'd get arrested. Tell her to think of something else. Preferably something that doesn't involve breaking the law. You know what? That's actually not that bad of an idea. What am I, a peeping Tom? That's still illegal. She's just messing with me or what? 
実は行き別れの兄だったと主張して居座る。And changing my whole life story? That's ridiculous. Besides, there's no way those always parents would buy that. 冗談はさておき、コウセイ君が一週間部屋にいられない理由をでっちゃうでたろってきたよ。<笑> What if his apartment for some reason was lit up on fire and he had nowhere to go to? Aha! Then I can ask your parents if they'd let me stay with you all. Finally, a decent idea. Why don't you lead with that instead of all those stupid jokes? Your dad would just come over to check it himself if I said that. He is my landlord. How would I even prove that? Hmm. He might buy that coming from you, but I don't know. I hate for the apartment room to develop a reputation as a stigmatized property or something. That'd be no way to repair it, Okuro san, for all the kindness he's shown me. As we fall into a pensive silence, somebody's phone rings. It's no Zomans. Apparently, it's Rokuro san. Maybe he's worried about her. It is getting a little late. Nozomi glances in my direction. What's up? Sure, give it here. Take the phone from Nozomi. Hi, sorry for keeping Nozomi so late. I'll be taking her home soon. Ah, so no Sure, I'll do anything I can. Rokuro san's always been a good friend to me and my dad. Plus, he's Nozomi's dad. I have no reason to refuse him. <laughs> What? How convenient. Come again? I freeze, still clutching Nozomi's phone. What did he just say? I'm sorry. I must have misheard you. I could have sworn you said you wanted me to live together with Nozomi for a week. What? Are you serious? I can't stop myself from shouting. I nearly dropped the phone in surprise. I had Nozomi in the phone. My daddy? <laughs> Hi, padre. <laughs> She's telling me to calm down? I stand next to Nozome and I listen as she speaks. However, I can't hear what Okuro san is saying on the other end, so it's hard to exactly piece together the conversation. Reaching a pause in the conversation, Nozomi turns to look at me. What's wrong? I think I heard you mention your grandma? At your grandma's house? Did something happen? Oh, a mountain? What do you even do with a whole mountain, dude? She inherited an entire mountain? Holy crap. Dude, a mountain! It's a mountain! How is it not worth a lot? Even if it's small. Truffles? Truffles? Those luxury French mushrooms? If I remember correctly, they're ranked on the world's top three delicacies. Oh, so that's why your dad's going with her. As someone who manages both the shrine and an apartment building, it'd undoubtedly be more reassuring to have him present for the talks. I 
And so that's why he's asking me to be your live-in bodyguard? Now I understand. Ironically enough, this is exactly the outcome we wanted. I nod and take the phone from her again. Yeah, I hear you've struck gold. Figurative, figuratively speaking。いや、めんどくさいだけだよ。なんでうちの山に白トリュフとか生えるんだろうね。うちは子供好きな赤岩様の神社だけで十分なのに。でも家内の親戚の中にはお金にうるさい人たちもいるからね。まあ、
thought I'd put in a little extra effort today. Although the Akaiwa Shrine might not be a very famous shrine, it still has a long history. Rokuro-san has always has told me many times how it dates back to the later half of the Edo period. The shrine is an important piece of history, after all. We should be doing our best to clean and take care of it. If we do that, we might get more visitors to the place. I don't think you're going to be able to borrow one of Japan's imperial treasures that easily. Regular people aren't even allowed to look at the things. A mummy? A, a god? Like Murasame? From Senren Banka? Are there no sacred objects enshrined here? Hey yo, Diddy, chill. What do you mean? Lady Akaiwa, the children lover? Hold up. That sounds like some Diddy work. So because she loves children, that makes her the god of safe childbirth? Nozomi smiles wryly. I think it's pretty charming. Hard to call it much of a selling point, though. Yeah, like nothing crazy. It doesn't sound impressive enough. It's definitely not. A phony shrine maiden with humongous months. I do think you have an actual talent for being one, though. Your end of the year dance was really something else. She put some effort in. But okay, hold on. Breathe, slow down, let me try again. If she put some real effort into it, I think she'd make a great shrine maiden. Shame. Well, anyway, we'd better eat before breakfast. Blah, 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 breakfast gets cold. I think Nozomi's hand and pull her along. She softly squeezes my hand in return. <laughs> Bathed in the morning sun, her bashful smile is absolutely dazzling. How dazzling. The dazzling. Oh, so do, oh. Oh. Eh, I didn't even get enough time to read the music. Alright. Yes. Hmm? She hands me the talisman that Mikado had made for us. What? I can't do that. I won't be able to protect her while I'm at university. You'll be completely defenseless if I take it. There's no point in me carrying it. It should definitely be you. I hold the talisman back out to her. She pushes it back towards me. Yo, what if because of this she dies? That would actually be kind of funny, but so sad at the same time. Because I don't hate her, but she's definitely not my favorite. No, no. You take it, Nozomi. I push it back to her again. This is the same thing as I love you. No, I love you more. No, I love you more. No, I love you more. She pushes it back to me again. Again. No, no, no. You, Nozomi. The two of us push the talisman back and forth. Please, Nozomi, I'd hate for something to happen to you. You know, this is one of those situations where you could totally solve with rock, paper, scissors. Just saying. We gaze at each other, glaze each other. I can see her eyes faintly brimming with tears. Her single-minded devotion tugs fiercely, fiercely at my heartstrings. Nozomi. We wrap our arms around each other. Under the cold winter sky, we passionately seek each other's warm embrace. <sighs> oh, y'all. Y'all couldn't have been better with the timing. <laughs> the arrival of a certain Grim Reaper and Cat God quickly ruined the moon. Zoom and I hastily let go of each other. No, we were just arguing about which one of us should hold the talisman. <laughs> Dang. I use exaggerations and I've read us. No, you're pews. I'm sorry. Mikado glares at me with contempt. <laughs> sorry. I quickly pick it up and dust it off. Mikado heaves a sigh. 
I'm sorry. Seriously, sorry. There's only no both clap our hands together and beg for forgiveness. Well, that's it. I'm sorry. Yeah, forced vacation. Wait for a week. The floor was reconvened in the woman's room. Dang, I hadn't seen it in daytime and it gave it a completely different vibe. I thought this was Shiki's room for some reason. Akizuki san and Mikado have returned to their original forms. Safe to say, this discussion has something to do with that. Have you discovered something about the red butterfly? So you could. Zuiban Hayakot on this, eh? Hi, what does he mean? Mikado Samo, you be a candidate to the Gambari Mastakara. Good kitty, good old lady, woman reaper. Okage de Nemui Tada de Sai, Neko and Nemuru no Gaskinanoni, Tetsia Nado Alienai. We appreciate you. I hope you get the best tummy rubs ever. Come on, I thought you had something important to tell us. Oh, so that. Bagahaiwa, Kokoni Nemurini Kitano deva nyai. Jitaiwa, Omote Tayorimo Shinkoku Naruta. So, so no desko? How bad are we talking? I unconsciously grip Nozomi's hand. She squeezes his mind back tightly. Jun Ote sets me shimas. Mazze, Akai Joa, Nemute Masen. Oh, what? Tsumani. Oh, yo, that butterfly's out for blood. That's scary. Hold on a second. If that's the case, why haven't we seen any other butterflies gathering around the shrine? Near the end of the last year, dozens of butterflies had flocked towards the Kaiwa shrine, drawn by the red butterfly. If the red butterfly is still awake, it stands the reason that they would be showing up again. ゆべは赤い蝶の動きを観察していたのです。それで徹夜になったのだ。驚いたことに赤い蝶は寄ってきた別の蝶を自ら追い払っていました。力は圧倒的に赤い蝶が強いからな。他の蝶は那須辺も
There was no nice way of saying that. Now you've gone mad and made her cry. <laughs> Struck Nozomi's head sympathetically while giving Akizuki sign of reproachful look. So does all. Kanda. Ikura nandemo. Nozomi no mayo. Hippoko nado. Hippoko nade itemasen yo. Heta te itan desu. Is lackluster even a better word for incompetent? This is this is great. You guys are just making things worse. Good grief. It looks like the conversation will have to come to pause until the zombie stops crying. That's hilarious. <laughs> you okay now? <laughs> Dang, I think I would be crying too if a butterfly thought it was that bad it wanted to kill me even more. After a while she comes down. Now then. Let me get this straight. The red butterfly is angry at Nozomi because of the dance. That's why, rather than going to sleep, it's become hostile towards her instead. Is that what you're telling us? I look toward Akizuki and Mikado-san for confirmation. Yes, that's right. All the things are connected to the whole thing. At one time, she was a little bit older. I was going to get rid of her. Oh, so it wasn't because she's incompetent or just a terrible dancer. I... Zomi slumps dejectedly. Everyone knows you did your best. I think you did a great job. You didn't do anything wrong, Nozomi. I tried my best to cheer her up. Yes, I think Nozomi was very good at the time. Oh, I'm sorry for that. 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 And we got a phone maiden doing it even though she did a good job at it. Every day. Oh yeah, well there's that one girl with gray hair from Senra Bank, I forgot her name. Tomodaki. Tomodaki. Yeah, doing it every day. Nice. Is this reference to Tomodaki? Sasagani is so no more to no my to Krabereba, or to Tita to you, Kotona no Daro. Tomodaki? Itashkata or my. Admittedly, Nozomi wasn't as skilled a dancer as the Shrine Maiden who comes every year. But at the same time, it's unreasonable to expect her to be. So now, what do we do? Do we contact her and ask her to perform another dedication dance for us? In theory, that should load the red butterfly back to sleep, just like it does annually. Right. And the Shrine Maiden Festival is only held once a year. Even if we did, I doubt many people would attend. Which means there'd be no point in asking the Shrine Princess to come. You have nothing to apologize for, Nozomi. I'm the one who pressured you into performing the dance. If the red butterfly wants to hold a grudge against someone, it should be me. Much better than Nozomi. How so? Slaughter the thing. Okay. Akizuki san's expression turns grim. Well, that would be the ideal solution if we could manage it. Or why it's been haunting the shrine for 300 years. All we know is that it's no ordinary butterfly, but an immensely powerful, irregular soul. Talk with who? Urum, ano akai choto. What the heck? Both Nozomi and I gasped in surprise. So na koto dekiru n desu ka? Yatsu ga mada risei wo tamochi, sono ki ga areba na. But it might not have a sound mind. Hai, zuibun nagai aida, hitori de kono jinja ni hiki komotte rashita yo desu nade. Ki ga furete ite mo shigi dewa nai. Dang. In which case, it'd be impossible to communicate with it. 
We wouldn't be able to persuade it to be reincarnated, let alone ask it to stop haunting Nozomi. And even if we could converse with it, what if the negotiations, the negotiations break down? Things could get even worse. If we wind up provoking it though, Nozomi could be in even greater danger than before. I'm not willing to take that risk. I state this softly, but firmly. It's so, huh? It's clear that Kizuki-san has the red butterfly's best interest at heart. She's a very kind individual. And I respect that. However, Nozomi's safety is my top priority, Akizuki-san. I'm sorry, but you're just going to have to use that scythe of yours, too. Huh? Hey, it's what I was thinking too. Just let her decide, bro. You don't need to do all of that. Well, wait a minute, N Nozomi. Turn to look at my girlfriend sitting beside me. Nozomi's wearing the most serious expression I've ever seen her make. She looks so determined that I instantly swallow the words I'm about to say. She gives me a cheerful smile. Real. Oh, shut up. I know I'm just a selfish, ordinary Joe. Nozomi looks at me, pleading with her eyes. There's no way I can say no to her when she gives me that look. Alright, fine. But I want to be present when you have this conversation with this red butterfly. If at any point I feel like Nozomi is in danger, I'm putting a stop to things immediately. I mean, what could you even do, bro? <laughs> what could you even do? Mikado nods in agreement. Alright. Yes, boss cat, sir. If it attacks us like that tonight, mara mara mara. They're gonna try holding up the talisman and mara mara mara. Twerp. <laughs> Twerp. And finally, I'll knock it out using the old boyfriend punch. Whoa! Watch where you're swinging that thing, Suzune. Right, sorry. Crap, I've been spacing out. I was too preoccupied by thinking about tonight to focus on my job. <laughs> Me and who? I'm sorry about Nozomi too. I lowered my head. I've been causing nothing but trouble for everyone today. Well, it's kind of hard to explain. I'm humble, non commission. Commis Tonight, Nozomi and I are going to have a chat with some kind of spirit that's been haunting her, but it could be dangerous. I can't exactly tell her that. Sorry, I don't want to keep secrets from you or anything. Anything for Suzune. Thank you. I know. Pulling my thoughts together, I resumed cooking. No point in worrying endlessly about it. Just have to place my trust in Akizuki-san and Mikado and do my best. Yeah, do your best. After work, Nozomi and I will make our way back home. <sighs> Walking next to me, Nozomi heaves a heavy sigh. 
<sighs> what? Then I'm much heavier. One. Oh, what? Then I'm much, much heavier. One. She's charging up. <laughs> now it just sounds like she's charging a Kamehameha or something. It does. <laughs> can Shrine Maidens shoot energy beams from their palms by any chance? <laughs> Doofus. <laughs> Twerp and Doofus. I haven't heard that word in a minute. They didn't think so. I like how she understood the joke. That's funny. She pouts unhappily over my ribs. Sorry, I was just trying to calm my nerves a bit. Well, we are about to have a confrontation with this red butterfly. I don't know, it sounds like a confrontation to me. Assuming it could even talk, that is. <laughs> oh, right. I might not be able to see it, but it could be haunting the zombie this very... Hmm? Wait a minute. Do you not feel it? <laughs> you know, those heebie-jeebies you're always talking about? You're always talking about? <laughs> she ruminates. Hmm, interesting. You used to feel it two, three times a week, didn't you? When did it stop? The New Year. So then you haven't felt it since December. What's going on? At the end of last year, there were dozens of butterflies gathering around the Akaiwa Shrine. That meant that Nozomi had more opportunities to sense them. That I can understand. But right now, she's being haunted by the most powerful of them all, the Red Butterfly. Are you saying you can't sense the Red Butterfly at all? Um, well, we only got this talisman yesterday, remember? That can't be it. Despite her affinity for the supernatural, Nozomi had stopped sensing the red butterfly even before that. Yeah, maybe. I'm not quite satisfied with that explanation, though. I don't see any reason they would have to do that. Something's not right. Nozomi. Nani? Are you sure you haven't felt the red butterfly's presence around you? Aside from those heebie-jeebies you get, there could have been other signs. Like, I don't know, ra rapping sounds? The butterfly also raps aside from killing people? That's crazy. Yo, yo, ore yo, no, I mean the unexplained ghostly kind. Maybe... <laughs> She's funny. Maybe you've been suddenly waking up to strange sounds or experiencing sleep paralysis. I've had sleep paralysis before. And let me tell you, it is not fun. It is so not fun. It is pretty traumatizing. <laughs> That's a story for another time, though. Uh, oh. Is the red butterfly really haunting the zombie? No, it has to be. She'd nearly gotten in an accident twice. And Akizuki and Mikolo-san agree. Konbanwa. Good evening. Mattei Good evening. While I've been ruminating, we arrive at the shrine. Good evening. Thanks for doing this with us tonight. Konbanwa. Zoma and I bow our heads to the Grim Reaper and the Cat God. Alright, Mikao screwed to them. No belly rubs for you. <laughs> that grin, look at her grin. I love that grin. Akizuki san teases Mikao grinning slyly. Yakamashi! Hi, hi. もうあまり時間はありませんから移動しましょう。赤い蝶との対話です。Yes. 
Nozomi's voice takes on a slightly nervous edge. Nozomi, Omae wa Miko Shouzok ni kigaeru no da. Eh? Wakarimashita. Why does she have to change? Nozomi wa Akai wa Jinja no Miko toshite taiwa shite morau. Motomoto wa Akai Chou wa kono Jinja ni tsuite imashita kara. Jinja no kankei sha toshite seisou ga kono mashii ka to. Okay, what about me? What should I do? Omae wa omake da kara dou demo ii. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, that one hurt. Not everybody can be a cute shrine maiden, you know? That is factual, I can confirm. I am not a cute I'm maiden. A cute shrine maiden, excuse me. We're gonna save it there. Timer is about to go off. And I'm gonna end it there. Yup, yup, yup. Yup, yup, yup. Yup, yup, yup. This was a really interesting episode and a funny one at that. You know, Nozomi had her moments aside from her being a little. She, I find her a little annoying sometimes and a little like uh, dramatic or whatever. But she's she's an interesting character. I like her though. And this route has been really interesting, really, really, really interesting. I could easily say that if we're talking like character wise or personality wise, Nozomi has a nice personality, but. She definitely wouldn't be my favorite. You know, I've only played Nozomi's route so far. And I, not Nozomi, excuse me. Natsume also, but not, I've only played Natsume's route besides Nozomi's. And I still am holding on to Natsume. But if we're talking story wise, I found Nozomi's story a lot more interesting than Natsume's. Although Natsume's was also interesting and kind of sad because he was pretty much dying, I have found this one a little more interesting not to say that they're both not good but this one has been very interesting it has me finding myself thinking oh i wonder what's gonna happen next i wonder what's gonna happen next that's all i have to say about this episode i thought i thought it was a good episode and i hope you guys thought so too and if you did enjoy this video please hit that like subscribe if you haven't already done so let's hit a thousand subscribers please i really appreciate it anyways i'll see you guys in the next video as always oh before all right, wrap, wrap, wrap up. King Koi will be back very soon. You know, like I said in the beginning of the video, I just want to take a little break from it because we've been hitting it pretty hard. Pause. And so I just wanted to take a little break because this game also deserves the love and time. And I find it so incredibly unfair that despite it being the first Yuzusoft Novo that I started, it's now the last one that I'm doing now. And it's kind of sucky, you know, because the time gap of where I started and then I came back to it and then left it alone again. Like, I just feel like it's unfair for it because this game has been really interesting. It has been really fun as well. And the characters are very likable as well, you know. But we will be back with King Koi, fret not. Because I know, again, I know a lot of people really want to see Golden Time done and other stuff and blah, blah, blah. And there's also people that want to see Cafe Stella done for it. And I think it's more than fair that Cafe Stella gets even actually a lot more time than Golden Time now. Because King Koi has two games i finished the first one right away and i still haven't even finished this one so it feels pretty unfair but don't worry i'll be back with king Corey sooner than you guys think i just need a little break that's all but anyways for all this time i'll see you guys in the next video as always thank you so much once again i really do appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next video as always y'all stay safe and as always until next time